long ago you got hurt someone did you wrong i can see it in your eyes it's like your fire is gone across your face it is written across your face if you want to talk i'm right here not gonna leave your side just feel free to open up when the moment's right across your face it is written across your Good morning. This is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm coming to you, and I'm going to fix something for dinner tonight. Um, Caden and Journey are here, and Kayla and Josh are coming to pick them up tonight, and Christy's coming over to help me pack, and I'm going to just have some, you know, some stuff. I'm going to fix some... Um, beef stew. I don't know whether it would be beef stew. I'm just going to fix some beef and potatoes and carrots and onions and, ma and maybe some corn on the cob. Huh? Mommy. What? Is yeah, yeah, but I don't, Paisley's not coming, just Christy. And so, is she's at home. And so anyway, I have got two large onions that I'm going to just, I'm going to cut them up and I've got my other knife. I don't have my mise Christy had already packed that, and I guess thinking that I wasn't going to cook anymore or whatever, but it's going to be a while before I go to court on May the 3rd, and that's my appeal date. And so um, I don't know, you know, when I'm sure that the judge will probably have me out and 10 days or whatever, just like this one did, but who knows. But I'm already next, let's see, the 9th, whenever that is, next weekend, when I, weekend after next, I'm putting my stuff in storage. I've already got my storage building, Why and that costs, huh, huh? Paisley's not coming. She's just going to, because Christy will probably be here late tonight helping me pack the stuff. And so the night I'm moving the stuff to storage, and then whenever the, I, I have to get another U-Haul, and for when I move, so that's going to take me a while to have the money. Caden, I mean, Journey, shh. I'm, I'm, I'm making the movie now. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, they're not, she's here some when I make movies, but not very often. And there's Caden, you want to see Caden? Yeah, you haven't seen Caden for a while. Let's see. There he is. There he is. Right there. Say hi. Da, 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 da. Talk right. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and so I'm going to be, my bedroom is going to be right next to his. All right. So I've got the onions cut up. I'm cooking this um, stew. I need, oh, let me put these in the, let me put these over here in my, um, Ninja Foodie Smart Lid. These are going in first in the bottom. Okay. Now, um, I've still got potatoes and carrots and all to cut up, but I do want to show y'all this because I'm going to cut this up into pieces. Alright, so the other day I went to Kroger's. I don't think I told y'all this. Maybe I did. If I did, y'all just look over me. I went to Kroger's, and as I was walking by the case, I saw these chuck roast, and I knew that I needed to get a chuck roast, and so I was looking at them, and the price there was twenty one sixty seven. All right, so if you go down, you see that the price of this two pound forty one two pound forty one ounce, whatever two pounds, whatever, uh, it was nine dollars and thirteen cents. I got five of these, and they didn't even come up to $50. Some of them are three pounds. Um, some of them are around two seventy-five or whatever, but amazing chuck roast. And for $9.13, it was three seventy-nine a pound, and they're still that this week. I guess these were going on sale I went last Tuesday, and they usually change their prices on Wednesday. So I guess these were going on sale for um, this coming. I mean, for this week. And I should go back and get.
it some more because I do love chuck roast. But I'm going to cut this one up into little pieces. And it's going to be like beef stew, but I don't know. I'm going to put different spices in it or seasonings or whatever in it. I don't know. And I will bring y'all back, but I've got um, carrots. I don't... The, I only have like one, two, three, four. These are little bitty carrots. Little bitty ones. See any more in there? Yep, there's one. All right, so I washed them, and somebody told me that you didn't have to. I, somebody told me. I'm, I'm doing something. I am. Somebody told me you don't have to peel these in, anymore, so I washed them. I washed everything, so I'm just going to cut these into big, big pieces. I've got some canned carrots that I'm going to put in there, too, but um, these I'm going to cook with the roast, so um, I'm not sure what all I'm going to put in here. It may be kind of like a soup. Who knows? Um, they can get out whatever they want, but I do like soup, too. So, vegetable um, soup. I mean, vegetable beef soup. So, I might do that. Who knows? But I will bring y'all back. I'm going to go on and cut the all the vegetables up and get them in there. Then I'm going to cut the roast up and get in it get it in there and i will bring y'all back okay y'all i'm back all right so i'm at my um ninja foodie smart lid now and i put two large onions in here i put uh I don't remember, little bitty carrots, six or seven little bitty carrots, and when it all gets done, I'm going to put some canned carrots in here and, like, let it sit, all right, and then I've got right many potatoes, because pretty much everybody likes potatoes, Journey doesn't, she does not like potatoes, but everybody else does, and so now I'm going to put my spices in here and i'm not going to measure i'm just going to put what i want to put in and i'll tell you what i'm putting in but you can put in the spices that you have or that you want all right so i've got roasted garlic powder uh <laughs> y'all yeah, know i really don't like it but i'm gonna put baby uh, <laughs> um that was probably uh, two teaspoons of that and then I've got McCormick's smoked paprika I'm gonna put that in here um oh come on now don't do this to me probably about a te two teaspoons of that now, here's my favorite one. This is Kinder's Wood-Fired Garlic. Doesn't taste like garlic. It's got an amazing taste, and I just love it. And this one, I'm going to put, it's probably going to be, whoa. I just put a lot in there, so probably two tablespoons. All right, and then I've got um, Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning to Salute. I have to get this from uh, Amazon because we don't have a Trader Joe's near us. And so I have the link to this down below. There's several of them that I can, that I use that I can only get at Amazon. Uh, so this is the 21 Seasoning Salute. I'm going to put that in here. Probably about a teaspoon of that. Um, all right, and then Badia Complete. I've got that. Um, probably about two teaspoons of that. Uh, and then I've got this. I haven't used this yet, but I packed my onion seasoning, so I'm going to use this. This is Kinder's Caramelized Onion Burger. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. I mean, I'm probably going to taste like onions, so let me see. Let me get this other side. All right, so there it is like that. And I'm probably going to be uh, uh, probably two, t two tablespoons of that. All right, now, 
Uh, let me see my salt. We packed my salt, so I've got kosher salt here. And I'm not putting very much of that. Probably uh, two teaspoons of kosher salt. And then where's, oh, I gotta do my pepper. <clears throat> okay, now my pepper grinder, I've showed y'all this over and over, but it is just my favorite. You, this is listed below. It's expensive, but it's so easy for me to do it than to do, if this wouldn't come off, I'm holding it wrong, evidently. Grandma. Right, Grandma's making a movie journey. What did you want? Play Play Play. You can sit up there and play with your Play Doh. Grandma's cooking right now. All right, so I'm just doing pepper. <laughs> Let's see. That's probably a teaspoon. Okay. So that's all the spices seasonings, whatever that I'm putting in. All right, and I'm going to put in this whole cup of water, and it's about 20, about 20 ounces of water. Oh, and I forgot something. Oh, no, what is it? Where is it? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. My phone is going crazy over here. Uh, I, well, I put my ranch in the uh-uh-uh I put my ranch in the packed it up I reckon with my other um with my other spices so I'm going to put here's the meat and this has all been cut up this was the two well, I think it was I said 241 all right and I'm going to get a stick of butter and put that on top of it. Let me turn this on. Uh, what do I want it to be on? Okay, sear saute. All right. So I'm going to let that get hot while I go get the butter. And get. I'm going to look and see if there's anything else that I want to get. And I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, <laughs> I just found this in my closet in there, and it's hearty beef stew for the crock pot. But you know what? I'm going to put it in here, because I'm going to cook this for about 90 minutes, I think. Oh, I really probably don't have to do that long, but I want this, this beef to be done, and it is almost three pounds of it, so... Oh, come on. All right, and so I'm putting that in there, and then I've got a packet of McCormick au jus gravy, uh, and that's going in here. All right, same color. Mm. All right. And now I'm going to put a, um, I don't know, I'm going to put some, if I can get it open, some Worcestershire sauce on here. Come on, Debbie. Okay. I don't know, right? Probably about a fourth of a cup of that. And then I've got a stick of butter that is going on here. <clears throat> 60 and 30 is 90. Maybe I could do, um, I don't know. I don't know how long it would take to do this. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm going to close it. I'm going to put the venting right here. 
I'm just going to turn it over this way. You do not... There's a little indention. See, that's how I let that pressure out. And then take it down here to to um, seal it. So... I've been, I had, evidently I've been taking it up too far and it wasn't sealing uh, because it's still letting air in evidently up there. But I've been doing it like this and it's been doing pretty good. All right, so I'm going to take it over here to the uh, pressure now. Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. Boy. This is the Ninja Foodie. Let me get you out and then see if I could this is the ninja foodie smart lid and I can't open it but it you know how my other ninja foodie had two lids it had the pressure cook lid and then it had the air fryer lid well now they've come out with one lid it's hooked it doesn't have another lid this one lid does um, air frying it does Oh my gosh, it does the pressure cooking. Let's see, it does everything that you can think of. Um, and here's sous vide, yogurt. Um, it does steam and crisp. And that's supposed to be, um, that's what I've got to learn how to do, is the steam and crisp and the, uh, <clears throat> and there's another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so I've got this on the pressure. I've got it on 10 minutes, but it's going up. I'm taking it up to... Okay, wait a minute. Went to 110, 120. All right, what the... That would be 60 and 20 is 80. Okay, I'm going to go on and do 1 hour 20 minutes, which is 80 minutes. And then I'm just going to let this sit until later on this afternoon when everybody gets here or whatever. I'm going to fix some other stuff. I think I'm going to fix broccoli. Caden likes broccoli. I want some broccoli and cheese. So I may just get him out some and not put cheese on his, but put cheese on ours. And I think I'm going to fix some corn on the cob. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get the most I can out of, I mean, get everything I can. I was reading this morning about when I move and how I'm, I have four freezers, but two of them are chest freezers. And one, I have, they have a refrigerator here, a little bitty refrigerator freezer. So I've got stuff in that freezer. And then my big refrigerator, I've got the freezers full in that. But I was reading that my chest freezers, I thought I was going to have to every, have everything out of them, and I wasn't going to be able to carry stuff in them. But you really can. It's really best to do that. And you fill them up all the way. Make sure that they're closed. And you can put it on your side, on the side, whatever you want to do, and carry it. And I mean, and then put it in your new haul, your truck, whatever you're using. So that's what I'm going to do. One is going in. My biggest one, I guess, is going in storage and the little littlest one is going um to Kayla's I guess I don't know I haven't figured it out yet that's I just my brain is not working that that quick yet <laughs> so anyway I've got this on now and when it when I get everything done and ev and I'll, I will I hope that I will remember to bring y'all back and let you see what I have done. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, um, I'm back. All right, so this is later that night. Every Kayla, they came and they got some of this, and I just forgot to make the movie again. So we're here going through all the stuff. Um, Christy and I are, and I wanted to show y'all this so I can get this on for y'all. This was really good. Mm -mm -mm. I put two cans of the Lasore carrots in here. Mm. And their carrots, oh shoot. They've gotten, okay, the carrots for the Lasore are like these right here. They're little baby carrots. Um, 
and they're real, real good. And these were the ones that I cut up. Wasn't very many of these. Mm. Here's the potatoes. And Kayla, my daughter, I guess, must have gotten all the beef. <laughs> Where's the beef? Because it's not very much in the in the crock pot now. So, I mean, not the crock pot, in by Ninja Foodie. So, let me taste this, see what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, I did cook this for 80 minutes and I let it sit for <laughs> about 40 minutes. And it is so soft and tender. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. All right, well, I'm sorry I didn't get to take pictures of it and all when they were here and all, but here this is, and I did want to show y'all this because it is so good. Mm, mm, mm. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram. And also below there'll be links to different things that um, you may want to use in your in your kitchen that I use in mine. The links will all be below. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I love you all. And I will talk to you later. Bye.